So my chapter in the book is on the housing affordability crisis facing the UK economy. We saw during COVID house prices going up even as people were losing their jobs and the economy was experiencing the biggest economic hit since the Second World War. Why was this? You know, this is the question. Now, government essentially assumes the housing affordability problem is a supply side problem. There's not enough homes being built. I would argue that there's two major issues. The first is that the supply that is being created is mainly being created by private sector developers whose main objective is to maximize the price of a home. Um, what we need actually is more public sector housing because the government does not have to make a big return on its investment um, and that, therefore it's encouraged to build more, potentially bringing down the price of housing in a particular area. Private sector developers don't want to do this. But the main issue, I think, is on the demand side. Housing has a dual function. It's a consumption good, a place to live, bring up your kids, etc. But it's also a financial asset. It's a store of wealth. It's a type of collateral. And the UK has essentially subsidised the demand side. Policy has been subsidising the demand side. So property is taxed very lightly compared to other assets. There's no tax at all on capital gains on your primary property. And the financial sector has been... Uh, liberalized to allow more and more mortgage credit to flow into this limited supply of, of residential land. And the inevitable result has been house price inflation. So I think two main things to do, three main things to do. First, more public sector housing. Second, um, regulate the banking system so that there's less speculative credit flowing into property. And thirdly, I would introduce uh, much bigger property taxes or a land value tax to reduce the speculative demand for housing as a financial asset.